Now I lay me down to sleep I pray the Lord my soul to keep If I should die before I wake I pray the Lord my soul he take Now I lay me down to sleep I pray the Lord my soul to keep If I should die before I wake I pray the Lord my soul he take Now I lay me down to sleep Pray the Lord my soul to if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my son will take. Yeah. I'm from the tribe of Judah. I'm from the tribe of Judah. In the Hebrew, that's Yehuda. I'm from the tribe of Judah. In the Hebrew, that's Yehuda. Tribe of Yehuda, in the Hebrew, that's Yehuda. Hey, Shalom. So I'm coming to you with the uh, I'm coming to you with the last part of my uh, promo video. These is, I'm doing promo videos for my book titled "The Knowledge of the Truth." Uh, you need to check it out when you get a chance. Um, this is called "The African Deception." I have a title in my book called "The African Deception." So the African deception is one of the biggest deceptions in this world next to like the Virgin Mary birth, which I won't go into right now, but I'll have a chapter in my book about it if you want the understanding on it. Uh, but it's a lot of understanding behind that as well, you know, uh, the Virgin Mary birth. But this is one of the biggest deceptions as well, the African deception, because the people running around in this world that are calling themselves African Americans don't have the understanding that we are not African Americans. You see what I'm saying? So let's start with the name first. African American is the last name of two European guys that was given to us. Just like how we all have our last name of some of us slave owners. You see what I'm saying? That's why I tell you in scripture that they will name their lands after thee. You see what I'm saying? So Africa is the, an extension of the homeland. Jerusalem that was promised to Abraham in the Bible. Africa is a land that was made. That continent was made alone to feed and nurture us off that land. I didn't even have to understand that, you know, Africa itself is like four times the size of the United States of America. But they don't want to tell you that either. You see what I'm saying? But the African deception is this here as far as with the name, you know, because I don't even check that no more when I see no applications. You see what I'm saying? But for you to think you African-American means that you think that you're African-American and black. And you have to ask yourself, how are we calling ourselves all these different races anyway? How can we be African-American and black? You know what I'm saying? Which one are we? You see what I'm saying? So just calling yourself black alone is not right as well because black is not a race. Black is a color. Just like calling somebody white is wrong. That's not a race. That's a color. White people are not white people. They're Caucasian people. That name derived from the word Caucasus Mountains. Black, you know what I'm saying, is not a race. It's a color. You see what I'm saying? That's what Judah means. You know what I'm saying? It's Jewish short for Judah. You know what I'm saying? It means black. So me, myself, I'm a black man. I come from the tribe of Judah. So I cannot be calling myself African American. You know what I'm saying? I challenge you, though. If you go over to Africa, acting like you're African American, calling yourself an African American, and those real Africans over there going to be looking at you like you're crazy because they know. So, yes, we're not African Americans. But, yes, African Americans are our brothers and sisters. Why? Because we all came from the same fathers in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. I went over this in the second video. You see what I'm saying? Africans are hemetic. Black people or so-called Negroes, we are not hemetic people. We're Shemetic people. You see what I'm saying? Africans are hemetic. There's only four African hemetic families. If you think you're African American, then you need to ask yourself this question. Which one of them four African hemetic families you came out of? Are you Ethiopian? Are you Egyptian? You see what I'm saying? Are you Canaanite? What are, which one are you? So how can you be an African American? You see what I'm saying? Then you have to look into uh, then you have to look into the prophecies as well. It's prophecies in the Bible concerning this to let you know why we're not African Americans. Because I understand why most people think we're African American because we, they think we was born there. How can you be an African American when you was never you never been there? You wasn't born there. You never went there, but you think you're African American. 
I never been to Africa, so why would I call myself African American just because I have black skin because I'm dark? Because I've been told that, because I've been raised with that lie my whole life. No. You understand? You can't just go off of that. That's why I even tell you in scripture that you don't supposed to strive in genealogy because it does gender strife. Meaning if you're trying to look at your lineage or your bloodline or background where you come from within this, within this world, excuse me, is it, it does gender strife because it don't matter who you are in this world. What matters is who you are, what I'm trying to show you now, your bloodline that you're linked to according to our fathers in the Bible. Me being a black man, I come from the same bloodline through the same fathers of the Bible that Christ come from because we come from the same tribe. That's why I tell you in Hebrews 7 and 14 that it's evident that our Lord and Savior Christ sprung out the tribe of Judah. See, that's why that's connected to the Virgin Mary birth like I told you earlier in this video. You see what I'm saying? They want us to think that Christ came that way, but he didn't. But Christ came from the same tribe I come from. He's the last king and the last priest of Judah, the tribe of Judah. So let me touch on that. The Most High God never called us by races. He never called us black. He never called us white. He never called us Indian and, and uh, Jamaican and, uh, you know, all these races. Whatever, Brazilian, whatever you want to call yourself. Mexican, whatever you want to call yourself. We was always called by tribes. You see what I'm saying? So if you're a black person or so-called Negro, you're from the tribe of Judah. I'm going to show you in Genesis where the scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying, Judah is one of the sons of Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob put out the 12 tribes. Jacob is our father in the Bible who birthed the 12 tribes of Israel. Who is Israel? God said all through scripture he favored the his seed of Israel. You understand? So that's our bloodline and who we're connected to. We're not African Americans. You understand? You can pick up a book called Babylon and Timbuktu. This book here is very important. Why? Because what do you think it's about? Just within the title it's telling you. You know what I'm saying? It's telling you that in 70 AD, when Christ, uh, I'm going to put it on the screen, a scripture that tell you in Luke 21 and 20, that Christ said, when you see Jerusalem can pass with armies, flee into the wilderness. That was a, a future prophecy that Christ put in the scripture to tell us that uh, when we see Jerusalem can pass with armies, flee into the wilderness because they they surrounded our people, built a, a, a wall around uh, Jerusalem and, and trapped our people in for seven years to where they couldn't get any food, no resources in or out. And to where our people started coming against each other before the Roman persecution came against us. Our people fled out of there running into Africa, running and fleeing from Roman persecution. This happened in 70 AD. How do you know that? You get a book called the uh, Book of Josephus. The book of Josephus, it talks about that story in here. And not only is just inscription in Luke 21 and 20. That's Christ's words telling you that. Christ's prophecy. Before I even go to the book of Josephus, but the book of Josephus alone, you understand, Josephus was a third century Jew. This guy was hired by the Romans, you know what I'm saying, to chart the rise and fall of our people. So why wouldn't he have something such as big as us running from Roman persecution, fleeing out of there into Africa? You see what I'm saying? Why wouldn't he document that in this book? You got to understand that. You see what I'm saying? So how can we be African American? We was never there. We was never born there. We know. Africans, though, they are brothers and sisters. Why? Because we come from the same fathers in the Bible. I told you, Noah had three sons. But we are not hermetic people. We are shemetic people. Get an understanding because if you don't, you will have a backwards understanding. You will keep walking around calling yourself African American and not knowing who you are. That's why I tell you in Jeremiah 17, 4 and 5, like I put in the last video, we are the perfect people who were disconnected from our heritage, were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, brought to America on slave cargo ships like I tell you in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, disconnect from our heritage and don't know who we are. If, I, if that's not me or us, you know what I'm saying, then tell me who it is. Those scriptures are cut and dry. Why? Because they're the mouthpiece of the Most High. They're the oracles of God. And they was given to our founding forefathers and it was given to us. But we just don't tap into them and read it. We don't cleave to this Bible. We don't cleave to it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand. This is the African deception. Stop calling yourself African American. You come from, If you are a so-called Negro or a black person, my brother or sister, you come from the tribe of Judah. You understand? You're not African American. Because if they keep making you think you're African American because they don't want you to know you're not African American because they don't want you to know you come from the same tribe that Christ come from and they don't want to let you know who your bloodline is so you won't link into the promises that was given to us. And these are promises that was promised to us, what, through blood? That's why it can't be broken. 
We got something that was promised us through blood. And they know this. But you don't know this. For anybody that don't have this understanding that's watching this video, you don't know this. You see what I'm saying? That's why we must get this understanding to our people. That's the reason why I'm giving it to you. Not to say that I know everything or not to be high-minded or not to uh, act like I got all the answers. No. I know what I know and I have the understanding that I have and I'm willing to share it with my people and wake you up and give you understanding because it's time. The kingdom is at hand. We're in a spiritual battle right now that's going to turn physical. You understand? War is at our door. We too focused on worldly things. We got to wake up and get some understanding. So before you can give a person understanding, you got to at least know who you are so you can understand what you're fighting for and what, you, and what your purpose is. A person not going to fight or stand up they don't know why they're standing up or what they're fighting for or who they are. How can you bring somebody else to understand if you don't know who you are? You got to find yourself. So take these three videos I put out. If you are a so-called Negro or running around calling yourself an African-American, my brothers or sisters, king or queen, stand up. We come from the same tribe of Christ come from. We got the spirit of kings on us. Wake up and understand that. And tell your scripture who will rise Judah up. Wake up and get the understanding. Shalom.